I'm Chelsea Nelson. I'm fairly certain Kenneth has already told you loads about me, so I'll just get to my story. Here's a picture of me and my husband in 2002 when we very first got married. As you can see, we are kissing, something we do a lot. <laughs> we kiss and we snuggle and I've got pictures of us kissing all over our house. I highly recommend it. Well, we just celebrated our 14 year anniversary. So we've been married 14 years and it's been pretty great. You know, we've had our ups and our downs, but all in all, I love the man I married and I love that we still get to be together. I would like to tell you though that in 2009, we were having a rough time. We had just moved into a bigger house. Uh, I had more responsibilities. Um, we were down to one car and my husband was working a lot and we had two children. And I was, at, like I said, I was managing my house and making sure things looked nice all the time and I started to notice that his socks were everywhere. And I don't just mean near the bed. I mean, they were in the kitchen. They were, the kitchen. They were in the bathroom. They were in the kids' rooms. I found them in his car. I found them everywhere. And many times I would go to him and say, please put your socks away. Please put your socks away. Look, here's the hamper. It's right by the bed. Just put your socks away. Bring your socks with you to bed. I tried. And I, <laughs> They were everywhere and it bothered me and it grated on me. And I was so upset about it that I talked to everybody. I talked to everybody about this problem. Oh, well, guess what Caleb does? He leaves his socks everywhere. I went to my mother and my sister. I went all over the place. I even went to his mother and his sister. And what they told me was, well, if he's leaving his socks out when he knows how much it bothers you, he's being passive aggressive. You need to confront him and find out why he wants to hurt you so much. So I went home and I remember the situation very, very well. I was holding our daughter who was asleep in my arms and he was across from me on the couch and our little son was snuggled up next to him asleep. And as we were talking, I brought up the socks again. And I said, I understand that you're being passive aggressive, which means I hurt you somehow. But will you please tell me why you want to hurt me so bad that you leave your socks out everywhere? And I'll never forget the look on his face. And I will never forget the sound of his voice when he said, they're just socks. And I thought to myself, eh, it can't be that simple. What, what do you mean they're just socks? And he says, I love you in so many ways that you never look for, that you never even see. And, and then he listed off all these things that he does for me that I seriously don't think about. For instance, I didn't know the inside of cars could smell bad because he always buys air fresheners. My, even to this day, my car always smells like a tropical sunset or fresh linen or leather even though it's not leather, because he always buys air fresheners. That's something he thinks about. So he does his job, he takes care of the yard, he weeds, he does all kinds of things. And he said, Chelsea, I love you in so many ways. And if you're only looking for love in one way, it's no wonder you think I don't love you. And then he said the thing that changed our marriage. He said, what if, if it bothers you, you do it. And if it bothers me, I'll do it. And I said, can you really love me that much? And he said, why don't you watch? And I did. I put it to the test. I would like to tell you, it totally works. I have so much evidence that my husband loves me. You can see it in my hands. I've got so much evidence that my husband loves me. He loves me. He loves me in silly ways. We had a fly infestation recently. He bought a Venus fly trap. I'm not kidding. It's right here. I'm even going to show you. Look. See that right there? Okay, poinsettia, Venus fly trap. And he feeds it and takes care of it. But why? Why does he do that? He doesn't know how. It's because I was mad about the flies. So now we have a Venus flytrap named Henry because he loves me and he still leaves his socks on the ground. But it doesn't bother me now. 
I didn't wait for him to change. I saw, I saw who he was. It may not be true for everybody, okay? I'm not saying that. This is just the experience that I had with my precious husband, where the problems we were having had to do with me not seeing him and him not seeing me. And once we opened our eyes and we built the trust, if it bothers you, you do it. And if it bothers me, I'll do it. And that's how we handle our marriage now. And we're very happy. So thank you for listening to my story today. I hope it helped. I hope you enjoyed it. I certainly did. I very much enjoy my marriage to my adorable, fantastic husband.